coming to the third lesson, this is little more dramatic and aligns well with the sub theme, which I thought that I will speak earlier. Then I thought that I will shift over to the main theme. The most valuable life lessons are learned from crisis. So after schooling at Calicut, I did my pre degree and degree in Faru College from 1968 to 82. I reached there and it was a different situation. My brother was not there. By that time, my father had died. And so I was there all free. And then suddenly I got into student politics. I became the unit president of Students' Federation of India, the leftist party, like what uh, Mr. Uh, Narayana Murthy said. Not because I am a leftist or uh, I am a strong believer of uh, the Marxian uh, theology. It's just because become a hero, which was the main fuel for igniting the journey. Uh, traditionally, we are all congressmen, but this was more of a uh, sort of a uh, I mean, entry into an area which uh, uh, which was uh, very exciting. So I stood for election, won in 1971 as the magazine editor. But next year, I lost as the general secretary in my election to a candidate from the opposition KC party. That is okay. Adding insult to injury. I, along with a friend of mine, was beaten to pulp by the KSU activists, activists because there were some uh, uh, ruffle between people. And I was admitted in the hospital. That was, uh, that came out in the newspapers, in the front page. And my mother read the news and came to visit me uh, with an entourage to Calicut. She scolded me naturally. And also everyone who was around me in the war, even people who were not my friends and all, everybody got severe scolding. And even hindered that it is better for me to stop college. And I feared that this is something again going to happen to me because of politics. What has happened in the school? Is it going to happen again? I was really worried. Luckily, she didn't do that. But lying in the hospital bed, Looking at the ceiling and ruminating, I had time to think about the situation and about my future. I was slipping into a bottomless pit. I was entering politics, which was more of an adolescent vigor, and it was an emotional thing rather than my life's call. My life's call actually was different. One, my father, before he died, had a wish that I should become a doctor. And I was also really passionate about this noble profession. So those one week or 10 days which I spent in the hospital, better senses prevailed in my rumination. And once I was back in the college, everything changed. I decided that I'm going to take life seriously and my future seriously and look for something which is much more real than ephemeral, like politics. I gradually disengaged from student politics and started focusing on studies. I came out with flying colors because I was fairly a good student always, but uh, I was not focusing. And came out with flying colors in my BSc examination. At that time, BSc was required to go into medical college. I got admission to the Calicut Government Medical College on merit. And I completed, like what has been said here, with a gold medal. And my did my PG there, my MD there. And after that, uh, went to Delhi University and did another PG. And uh, became a lecturer in my alma mater, that is in the Calicut Medical College. Teaching was my passion. I also had the privilege of uh, treating patients in hospital and at home at that time. Then most importantly, I got married to my life partner of 42 years. So this is another phase of my life. So what is the moral of this story? 
calamities in life, maybe that God is giving you a chance to nudge you, actually. You know the story of the egg, the potato, and the coffee. Many of you might have heard. So when these three are put into boiling water, the potato, which is very hard, becomes soft. The egg, which is relatively very fragile, becomes very, very hard. And the coffee, it starts sending out its flavor. That is exactly what happens when you are faced with calamities. The situation defines you and you are the person who is going to transform. So that is what happened. So when calamities hit you, stop, pause, and proceed with introspection when calamities hit you. The best thing is that what is born in fire is more likely to survive in sun. That is very important. Listen to your inner call. These are all stories which, I mean, the lessons which I learned during that incident which happened in my college days.